Welcome, Sven. How are you? Well, wow, welcome and congratulations. Here we are, opening night at the Toronto International Film Festival. How are you doing? Well, I'm really nervous. It's my first uh, film premiere. Uh, um, normally, I'm just in swimming pools, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I would get used to. Okay, so let's explain. It's a real life story. You're the real life coach from this amazing real life story. And I'm going to hand my microphone over to Alicia because we're sharing right now. <laughs> we're sharing microphones. I was saying that I got a sneak peek at the film and I definitely shed a few tears. It's a really powerful story. What is it like for you to see Matthias play you on screen? Um, yeah, it's amazing. He's a very fantastic human being. And um, yeah, he was the wish of my sister to play me so this is yeah we everyone is happy with this and yeah he plays very well and he has an understanding for this yeah. story that is the most important thing this is a story of resilience of hope of of new beginnings and and closing chapters you know could you imagine when you were having your real life experiences coaching the sisters that you would be here like this and and talk to me a little bit about that journey well, um, no, I could never imagine that um, because when they arrived in Berlin, it was just about to build up a new life and um, yeah, to make them swim there and to have yeah, to resettle a bit, a little bit in Berlin. And we never planned it. Um, when I get the first call from one of the producers, Ali Jafar, it was like, yeah, yeah, we go to the Olympics and then we will see what will happen. So we focused on step by step, and then yeah, it, now we are here. And now we are here. Now we are here. <laughs> Well, uh, what would you like to share about the real Yusra and her determination, and not only in coming to another country, but also then getting to compete in the Olympic Games? Well, uh, it was a long way for her, but um, finally she made it and she deserved it and to be in the Olympics, and she always did a great job, and her role as an also a goodwill ambassador for UNHCR was, yeah, she plays everything very well. Well, have fun tonight. Congratulations on the film. So we'll let you go down that way and go and see the fans. Well done. Yes, well done. you look you look very, very sharp. Okay, and now we have, I think, the actor who plays Sven, Matthias Schweighofer. Oh, yes. He's a German actor. I I've love heard that back him. to back. You know, <laughs> the real life Sven and then the theatrical Sven. This is amazing. Exactly. I can't imagine the kind of... Um, pressure it must be to play a real life person especially when they're very much alive very much involved in the story absolutely you know this is one of those films this is one of those stories that it's like truth is stranger than fiction I yeah. feel like if you sat down put pen to paper to write the script people might be saying this oh it's, it's too over the top yeah. people won't believe this has really happened and, and yet here we are I know it's a really moving story and like I said it'll make you feel very lucky in your own life I mean privileged in so many ways mm. And just to see Yusra's determination, you know, they had such an incredible journey, with, even without the Olympic Games. Absolutely. And then you add in the Olympic Games for Yusra, and it's it's amazing. And I can see just over there the two real-life sisters who play the sisters that we just spoke to. So this is Natalie and Manal Issa. Uh, they are sisters in real life and sisters on the screen, and they're wonderful in the film. Hello. Come on in. Hi, we're sharing a, a microphone here. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so congratulations on the movie. I got a sneak peek at it this morning. I definitely was crying a lot. I mean, such a powerful story. Tell us, you know, playing Yusra, what was that like? How, what, what did you relate to in her, especially with her drive and determination? I mean, when I read the script, I really felt connected with Yusra, with all of her qualities, how she feels, how she reacts to everything. And it was really interesting too. Me because I never swam or anything, but even if I've never been in the pool, I felt like I could understand her and like become uh, to I don't know, <laughs> but to become this person. I feel like when I met her, also we had a lot of common points and everything, so it was really interesting to play her. I don't yeah. know. She's amazing. Yes. And I, I must ask the obvious question: playing sisters, being sisters. You know, what was that like, and how did that casting come about? Uh, so basically, they were. I, I'll hold sure, it. It's okay. easier, yeah. yeah, yeah right. So basically, it's uh, it was a very long process to cast for this film because the film is uh, you know, it's set on. We start from London, so to get to find Arabs in London, 
So uh, I first came uh, on the project and I was also discussing with Sally and seeing uh, potential actors for Yusra. <laughs> and then Natalie did the casting also. So <laughs> it was, yeah, at the beginning it wasn't the <laughs> idea of having sisters, but it, how it helps is that there's no wall. So when we act, we just grow in the scene and we, there's no, uh, uh, there's no thinking, yes. so we yeah. just do the scenes yeah. as it is. Yeah. There, we can just touch each other's. We can just <laughs> yeah, we shout. Just no we can there. be like yeah. So, yeah. so I think yeah. it's nice and it's interesting as work in acting to be very close because this is the process of actors doing this. We already have it, so we can go further in, in the acting. Yeah, because you already have. You already have that inbuilt chemistry, so you don't have to try for that. I didn't try anything. It was just all natural, and this was amazing. So you to can just go and level up. But obviously you also have to play a, an athlete that is competing in the Olympic Games. Yeah, so what was, was that like? It was a lot of pressure, but I worked out every day. I was really determined. I was watching Michael Phelps videos every day. I was becoming like a swimmer. And the prep really helped me because I was building the character since the prep. So swimming and working out and everything really helped me to get. Yeah, it was amazing to be an Olympic swimmer. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> Who can be this? Once a lifetime, I'm, yeah, <laughs> it's good. Well, it's an incredible story and you both do a wonderful job. So congratulations and go enjoy yourself. You can head out that way and go see nice the fans. To nice to meet you Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a good evening. Have a good Thank evening. You. Thank you. Bye. And now we have Matthias Schweighofer, who will be coming up this way. Playing Sven. Playing Sven. And he is an actor who I've heard being called the German Justin Timberlake. Yes, and I can see <laughs> it because he's bringing sexy back. Hi, how are you? Hello, come in between us. Wow, everybody's excited about a sharp chest man. <laughs> thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. How does it feel to be in Toronto? It's beautiful. It's my first time, to be honest. It's an, it's an amazing city. It's a, it's a fantastic city. Thank you so much. So we have to talk about this fantastic film, The Swimmers, and, and you playing uh, Sven, and we just, we just spoke to the real-life Sven. You know, how, what kind of pressure is it to play a real-life character who's very much involved in, in the process and uh, is, you know, maybe watching your every move? Um, true. I mean, he was very gentle, and he just said, just like, you know, because it's always when you play a real person, uh, you want to be, uh, you want to honor him, and you want to be respectful, and because it's his, his story. And uh, But he said, just, Matthias, you can do everything you want, just make me look good. <laughs> and hopefully I did it. And you did. Yeah. <laughs> you did. And you don't have to actually get in the pool yourself, but you're obviously yeah. playing a coach who yeah. is coaching an Olympic-level athlete. So how much prep did you have to do? in order to understand swimming and, and what goes into that kind of training? Yeah, first we started um, like, you know, with, with Sven too, because I asked him what was the main thing you really did as a coach? And he said, whistle oh. <laughs> the whole time. And he had like two watches the whole time. And he said, you know, uh, that's the main thing you really do first. You just whistle and push them. And then uh, yeah, after a while, I, I understood the vocabulary of what they had to do while crawling and uh, yeah, but it's uh, it's 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 science. <laughs> it, it really is. And let's talk about uh, being directed by this incredible director. And you know she is just like a, a powerhouse. And uh, she's really winning the tri tri Tiff Tribute Award this weekend. So talk to us about Sally. Oh, uh, uh, I, I first I love Sally. She's amazing, and what she did with her first film, the, uh, My Brother the Devil, amazing. And uh, was she was always very. What I love about her as a director, she's a, yeah, she's always calm and takes her time, and really she wants to figure out the character and the depth of the scene, and and it's ama She's amazing. I love her. And when somebody has that calmness, I feel like it just makes you want to like dig in even more. Yeah, or just, yeah, give me more, you know? Please, please, give me more. Can I have another scene? No, thank you, okay. You're also a director yourself. Yeah. So what did you take from watching Sally and, and the way that she was able to bring this true story to life? Um, I think, uh, uh, usually in my films, I always direct and act, and, and I think I have to step back a bit because of the acting kills so much time, and, and I learned from her to be objective and more real is a, is a very is a very good thing <laughs> to do yeah and maybe once you'll you won't act and direct you'll do one or the other well just directing and then and then the acting yeah anything that you have planned to do in toronto besides you know all this fabulousness 
just enjoy the people, the crowd, and uh, uh, I was, I, I did a jogging, my jogging this morning oh. on, the, on the lake, it was, it's fantastic. On the lake shore? Yeah, yeah it's nice. beautiful, it's, I really love the city, I would love to shoot a movie here, I mean, yeah, yeah. but. And if you're looking for two entertainment reporters, here we are. Yes, yeah. okay, <laughs> thank you so much, yeah. I can only yeah. play myself, that's the extent of my acting ability. But this is amazing, what you do is amazing, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Enjoy Toronto. Enjoy the opening night, and congratulations on the swimmers. Thank you so much. Have Thank fun. you. Yeah, we will. Oh my and God. This this suit. Toronto. It's <laughs> this suit. Okay, I have to ask. Who who's a buy? What are you wearing? The, 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 this this is this is half on Eden. It's a it's a German brand, and it's yeah. So I brought it with me all the way from Berlin. Yes, Let you did. Say. Yes, you did. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. You too. Be careful, okay? All right. All right. All right. Moonwalk. You know I love a little moonwalk action. <laughs> he is wonderful in the film too, as Sven. You know this this coach who really takes on these two sisters, and then Yusra. She has this goal of being in the Olympic team, which seems like such a lofty goal for anyone, but especially after she's what she's been through. And it was amazing to see the real Yusra and Sarah Mardini. I mean, Sarah. It was a little bit like in awe of them, right? I know, it's a little bit starstruck. You've got Yusra, who is the Olympian, and then Sarah is a human rights defender. She's actually out on bail at the moment because of her hard work with refugees. She was arrested, uh, which is a, a travesty, and Amnesty International is looking into it, but she has really become what they call in the film a superhero for refugees. So these two women uh, just doing incredible things in the world and now get to be the stars of their own movie. It really is incredible. Real life, real life heroes. Oh, wow. <laughs> the fans are heating up, right? Yeah. I love what Matthias said about uh, what Sw Sven said, you know, it's about the whistle and time. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you just have to keep the, the two stopwatches going and, uh, you know, keep an eye on the time and keep pushing these athletes, but also just knowing how much training they need and how much fun they need as well so they can take in the amazing experience that they're going through. You know, Yusra, she competed for the Refugee Olympic yes. team, which was a new team that was set up for the 2016 Rio Olympic Games, but then she also competed for them in 2020 at the London Games. She had a choice to compete for many different countries, but she chose to stay with the refugee team. I mean, they're both doing such amazing things. They really are, and, and you bring up many countries, and you know, this, this, this film is set in so many countries. You know, it really was a labor of love. Yes, I mean, there's the moment when they're traveling through the sea, which you see in the trailer, and they're in this little raft, and it's packed with refugees, and you just know when you're watching the film, this is a story we read about all the time. So it really is just incredible to watch on the big screen. And this is Sally El Hosseini's second feature film as a director. She's also, as you said, she's receiving the TIFF uh, Emerging Talent Award at this Sunday's Tribute Awards. Uh, this is the fourth year for the awards, and they're somewhat of a, a bellwether for really? the award season. I know you're involved with the award season. It's uh, long, you, right? It's, it, yes, you know, it's my favorite season. <laughs> <laughs> so it stretches over a couple of seasons. Yes, but and with her first film that uh, debuted at Sundance, you know, went to over 40 film festivals, picked up 12 awards. I mean, Sally is quite accomplished, and this is just another another feather in her cap, really. Exactly, is. and it's it's always wonderful. Uh, you know, I'm passionate about female directors and supporting their work, and it's always wonderful when you see these directors getting opportunities which they may not have had a couple of years ago. You know, TIFF has their initiative, Share Her Journey, which is all about celebrating and elevating women both in front and behind the camera. And that was meant to be just a five-year campaign, but now it's going to be a permanent initiative here at TIFF because while the conversation has started, there's still a long way to go. There really is. But, you know, as somebody who's covered TIFF, you know, all my career, uh, TIFF has been talking about representation matters long before it was a buzzword in mainstream Hollywood. Whether it comes to women, whether it com comes to people of color, it really has set the bar. And I feel like all the initiatives that TIFF has brought forward is really just uh, pushing forward work that they've done from the beginning. 
Toronto is such a multicultural city, you know, and there's so many stories to be told. And I feel like TIFF has really highlighted that from day one. I know. Well, you've been to how many TIFFs now? Um, over 20. <laughs> wow. Over 20. How have sure. you seen it change over the years? Well, I remember when it was just uh, Canadian reporters. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we didn't have to fight with everybody else, you know, the international press. I mean, print press would be here, but I mean, it, it has grown and developed over the years. Uh, Cameron Bailey has been with it from from day one and it's amazing to see what Cameron and his sister Maxine Bailey are, is doing with the uh, Canadian Film Center you know so the roots have been planted and as big as TIFF gets it's still for the people it's yeah. still for the fans and and every time I talk to stars from around the world that's what they really love the access I mean we can just reach over you know yes. the Bell fan zone and, and, and reach a fan and, and over here and and they're excited and they're out here and they're supporting and they're also lining up you know at the crack of dawn to, to go see movies yeah. you know they're, they want to see the stars but they really want to see the, these incredible films exactly and if you're just tuning in we are live this is tiff live from the red carpet presented by l'oreal paris l'oreal helped us to get red yes carpet ready today and uh, we are so excited now because the director of the swimmers is about to make her way up here sally el hosseini she's going to be coming up and joining us on the platform uh, and I'm just thrilled to talk to her and she must be so excited tonight. Right, just vibrating. Like yeah. this is this is a big moment for her. And yeah, uh, 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 her. yes, come on. Hi Sally, come on in the middle of us. I love oh, it, you look great. Thank How are you? you? I'm good, yeah, very excited. We are so excited for you. You know, how does it feel? It's the opening night Toronto International Film Festival, world premiere of The Swimmers. It's just an honor to be here because it's my first time in Toronto, my first time at TIFF, and I just, like, you can't beat this, really. <laughs> really? What do you think so far? Um, it's incredible, <laughs> you know. Um, I've heard that the audiences here are so um, amazing. We're I'm a little bit loud. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that too. I've heard that too. Um, and, yeah, it's just, you know, such, it's humbling, actually, um, to be given this kind of prestigious platform uh, in a city that's so international and diverse as Toronto, you know, and to have, like, accepted our little film that way. Absolutely, for sharing the mic. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, especially because Toronto is filled with immigrants and refugees, I imagine that must make tonight's screening feel extra special. Absolutely, I can't think of a better city. And really, um, the festival has shown, like, um, as well as the city has shown, what it stands for in choosing our film to open the festival with. Mm -hmm. It really is. And you know, when, I mean, so many incredible scenes, but the scene with the AGNC, and uh, what were some of the, how did you plan that? Like, how did you go in to attack that scene? <laughs> well, we did it for real. So we cast a lot of refugees in the movie and uh, behind the scenes they were working on the film and also there were a lot of refugees um, in the dinghy that were cast in the boat um, alongside the actors who were in the dinghy. And we went to Turkey where we filmed and we really put the dinghy in the water um, and did all the daytime crossing stuff for real. We had to use a water tank for the nighttime portions of that um, just for safety reasons. You know, you can't be in open water filming in the, at night. Um, but yeah, it was, it was an intense shoot, three Isn't months long amazing you say you can't be in the in the water overnight and you know so many refugees have had to make that crossing you know it's uh, very 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 moving yeah. very moving and then at the center of it all you have two sisters playing sisters yes tell us a little bit about that casting process i mean we heard a little bit from the sisters themselves but it sounds like it was just a natural fit in the end it was. I mean, it's truly incredible to have sisters playing sisters. And as a director, there's so much to draw from, from that <laughs> real relationship. You feel the chemistry. It's there already. <laughs> yeah. And the, just the depth as well, like, you know, what they were accessing. And, you know, what's also great is, um, you know, they got to meet their respective sisters and got along so well. So, you know, it's, it's a bit overwhelming when you have all four of them together. <laughs> I feel outnumbered, <laughs> but, it, but it was a joy to work with them. I know we felt starstruck by the real sisters. We really did, really did. Their presence, their dignity, their beauty, their resilience. They're truly inspirational. And, you know, this is a film really about two heroes. There's obviously Yusra as the more obvious kind of celebrated hero, but Sara as well as the unsung hero. And that was what's so beautiful in the script I read. And what made me want to come on board the project was this idea that there were two of them and they're both just as heroic as each other, but in different ways. It's such a compelling story, and, and Alicia and I were talking about that, you know, sometimes real life is, is stranger than fiction. When did you first hear about the story of, of the sisters? So 
So I heard about Yusra's story around the time of the 2016 Rio Olympics. I think I read some news articles, but then I didn't hear anything else until the script, you know, uh, came my way. Um, and Jack Thorne, the screenwriter, had uh, written a few drafts and they were looking for a director. And when I read it, you know, I just knew I had to go hard for it. Um, I'm half Egyptian and they reminded me, Yusra and Sara reminded me of me growing up and a younger version of myself. It's not often you see Arab women on the screen that are liberal and modern and it's um, perhaps not victimized in the narrative. And so um, that excited me. So it's so exciting. We also don't get to see the refugee story that much on the big screen. I mean, what do you hope people watching the film tonight and throughout the festival take away from it? So there, um, everybody sees the story through the news images and it's, we know those news images, dinghies full of people, we know what those images are and I was really wanting this film to be as far away as possible from those news images to allow an audience to really join the characters on the journey and to feel with their hearts and it, uh, the, you know, who these people were and to join them on that journey so that's what I'm hoping is that people really feel um, like they're joining the characters on that journey. Yeah, take your Kleenex. I say. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely take your Kleenex. So well, you're in Toronto, you're also receiving the TIFF Tribute Award on September 11th. How are you feeling about that? So excited. I mean, just incredible. Like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you for, for putting up diverse stories and faces and voices and really going behind, like you said, the news stories and, and getting to the heart of, the, of these, these journeys. It was really important for me to make a film that was authentic. And so that was um, right along the process, like one of my driving you know, ambitions for the film as well. Um, and it's, it's, it's really paid off, I think, in how people are responding to the movie. Really exciting, really exciting. Well, congratulations. Thank we you. hope you enjoyed tonight Thank and your you. time here at the Toronto International Film Festival. Go and have fun. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Just be careful. Okay. Sure, okay. Yeah. All right. Keep sparkling. <laughs> and we have, yay. It's so nice to see her get acknowledgement for her years of hard work. And we are also about to talk with another actor from the film, James Krishna Floyd, who he plays one of the refugees in the movie and he befriends the two sisters. And he has worked several times with Sally. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Come on up. Come Don't on be up. scared. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes, let me take. Hello, hello. Come on up. Live. Yes, it is live. We're live. We're live. We're live on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok. Do you have a TikTok dance for us? Uh, I don't we, have yeah, a TikTok. Okay, fair. We don't have one either. Like TikToks though. Yeah, me too. Orange. I don't use anything, so I have very nice breath. But I do like orange. Nah, no, green ones. <laughs> I knew that. It's very controversial. Yeah, <laughs> Well, congratulations and welcome to the opening night of Toronto International Film Festival for The Swimmers. How are you feeling? It's not a very good movie, to be honest. <laughs> no, it's an amazing it's, movie. Yeah, no, I'm, I, I genuinely am very, very lucky to be involved in this one. And I think it's very kind of fitting, you know? Toronto is such a multicultural city and an amazing history and diversity. And this is a movie about refugees and, and hope and movement and finding a better life and strength of human spirit. I think it's the perfect... I genuinely think it's the perfect place, you know, to start this, this film's journey. It really is. Yeah. Sharing sure you like. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I know you've worked with Sally before. Yeah. So what is your collaboration like and, and what makes her such a perfect director to tell this story? Yeah, I think, you know, there's a real personal connection with Sally in this story. Obviously her being an Arab woman um, who was, who's, you know, spent a lot of time in Egypt and in Yemen and all these places. I think it's about time that we have stories about women and about people from the Middle East told by people who understand those stories in, in a personal way. Um, I think on a slightly lesser note, but also quite important, you know, she was, she comes from a Muslim family. It's a story that touches upon that. Um, yeah, you know, and I think um, she's really badass. And it's a, pretty, it's a pretty badass movie. So, you know, it was a perfect fit. Absolutely. Yeah. It is one of those stories of, of empowerment, of, of resilience, of hope. Uh, but there's also, I'm, I can imagine, are there any challenges of, of, of playing, you know, in a real life story with the real life people s around and, and, and part of the project? Yeah, I think so, especially when you're dealing with uh, refugees and, and migration in general. I think there's a really, you know, there's a responsibility to get it right authentically. Uh, for me personally, you know, my 
you know, my mom uh, is a migrant. She came from India when she was 14 by car with her family a long, long time ago. So to get it right, to play my character, to play a refugee who's traveling all across Asia, in my case, to get to Europe, it, my heart was really, really in this one. You know, not that it wasn't in my other projects, uh, <laughs> but you know, it is really, really important. And, and I think, I don't want to get too sort of highfalutin, but I do think this movie is kind of bigger than itself in a way, you know, the true story itself. And, and generally, I think stories of refugees to be told in a cinematic way on a big scale with Hollywood, Toronto behind it, it's about time. Preach. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop moment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we need this one. It's yeah. precious. Uh, what did you learn about the refugee experience just from playing this character? A huge amount. I mean, my character I, is actually based on, on, on a real, a bunch of real guys, composite of characters. Uh, and uh, luckily I had a friend of a friend actually who was almost identical to, to them and I based it partly on, on him. Um, so yeah, shout out to Mansoor. Uh, you know, so I think I'm... Um, yeah, look, th like I said, this is a movie that's in my heart, you know? Like, this is where I come from. This is where my mum comes from, her family. You know, I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't for the idea of movement of people coming from, in my case, Asia to Europe to, you know, find themselves. And, um, yeah, I I I'm kind of emotional talking about it. Like, it's, it's weird. I've never been in this situation where something's been, you know, this big, but also a story that I'm, I'm so passionate about. Really, this is for my mom, you know? This this whole thing is really for my mom, so shout out mom. I know. Well, you had a dream, and now yeah. you're here. Exactly. I'm very, very lucky. I'm very lucky. Well, enjoy yourself, Thank have you. fun, Thank party you. it up. It's still live. It's still live. <sighs> and now you have to walk down yeah, the little... Have to walk well. So I moon, so I moon walk. Love to mom. Yes, moon walk. <laughs> Where do I go now? Right down here. Right down here and go see the fans. Wow. I know. Oh, he's so sweet. And Getting emotional. And very emotional and and very, very heartfelt. And that's why, one of the many reasons why The Swimmers is the opening night film. You know, yeah. it really is incredible. And one of the reasons why Sally El Hosseini is winning the TIFF Emerging Talent Award, presented by MGM at this Sunday's TIFF Tribute Awards. These awards are kind of like a, a bellwether, as I've said, for the award season because many people who walk away with awards this Sunday will hear their names pop up throughout the uh, the whole award season. Uh, you also have Michelle Yeoh, who is winning the TIFF Share Her Journey Groundbreaker Award. Uh, Brendan Fraser yes. for The Whale. Well, you know, I know you love Brendan I Fraser. I love Brendan Fraser. I was so excited that he got that six minute standing ovation in Venice. I feel like, you know, he's American slash Canadian. His parents have Canadi are, are Canadian and, uh, you know, so we feel definitely, you know, connected to him. And, you know, he's had his journey in Hollywood and there's, you know, like, like any great film, there's been high, high moments and some, you know, peaks and valleys. And to see him being honored and welcomed uh, for his exceptional performance in The Whale, it really, it really just warms my heart. Yes, there's also Hilda Gunadotter, who's a wonderful female composer, and she can, you can hear her work on Tar. Sam Mendes is also getting an award, the director of Empire of Light, and also the cast of My Policeman, including yeah. Harry Styles. Oh, who? And people will be very excited <laughs> very about excited that about one. Very excited about Harry Styles, very excited. Yeah, the TIFF Tribute Awards is really, is really such, a, such an honor, and I feel like, you know, it, it, like you said, it's a bellwether of things to come. And, yeah. yeah, and also we have some excitement coming our way because tomorrow we're going to be live with the cast of Butcher's Crossing. We're going to be live from that red carpet at 8 p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Stay fabulous.